first drink we're gonna make is the original Old Fashioned. As the drink gets made, you're gonna see this is a little different from what you might expect this day and age, but after making the drink, I'll explain how this came about. You're gonna start with a sugar cube and a piece of a lemon twist. Not an actual lemon, just wanna kinda get the skin off of it. People were drinking this drink 200 years ago. Uh, the lemon, the sugar, I'm gonna put a little bit of soda in there, she's gonna muddle it all up, just a little squirt from the soda gun. Um, and then in the early part of the 1800s, just a, just a little splash. That's all you need, yep. Uh, somebody put bitters into a drink for the first time, and that took what was known as a sling and called it a bittered sling, because they weren't very creative at naming drinks back then. That's more than enough. You wanna muddle that all up right now? Um, and <laughs> look out for the sugar cube, it jumps. Um, and this was, this is what the first cocktail in America really was. People talk about the Sazerac, other named cocktails. The only reason people don't talk about this one originally was it just didn't have a name. You go to a bar and this is what they made you. It was basically a variation of the punch they were used to making in bulk. You're gonna take two ounces of bourbon and add it to that. Uh, originally it would be bourbon or rye or whiskey back in the day, depending on what part of the country you were in. Throw some ice in there for you. Now all your other friends, they got the shake, you're gonna get the stir. Let's see how big your stir is. it enough and give it a taste. See what eventually happened was in the 1850s and 60s when people started going to more and more bars, bartenders were like they were today. We got more and more creative, we tried fancier and fancier things and the problem was that the old customers would walk in there and they'd say, I don't want any of that newfangled stuff, just give me that old fashioned cocktail.